everybody. Happy Wednesday. I hope you guys had a great day today and I hope you guys have a great tomorrow. I'm catching a little bit of a cold so if I'm sniffling a little bit it's because of that. Um, I'm trying not to ramble so much so let's get right into this. Today I'm going to be showing you guys um, the books that I picked up from the library and the books that I picked up from the bookstore or the book that I picked up from the bookstore which I know you guys if you had the series, then you guys are going to be really excited. Because I know I was excited to have this in my little hands. I just love this. Um, <coughs> I'm also going to update you guys on the book I'm reading again. Because I think I told you guys in another video. But if you guys hadn't read that video, then you don't know. Um, okay, the first book I got, which is, which is The Sire, the Siren's Storm. Um, yes. I warned you guys what's only on the back because I don't want to bore you guys too much. Okay. When Will sees the beautiful black-haired girl disappear into the hurricane's brown surf, he can't shake the sensation that this is a parent's suicide and somehow connected to his own brother's disappearance the summer before. As he investigates his discoveries that his town and his residence are full of secrets. So, this is told in Will's perspective, like, as I can tell. Um, basically, probably, I'm guessing, it is about... I'll read a little bit here. Compelling and eerie, this mesmerizing novel is steeped into nautical lore and the mythology of sultry and mysterious sirens. So it has something to do with sirens, obviously, because it's called Siren Storm. And I'm excited to read this. It looks good. And I will let you guys know. I'll do a review as soon as I finish it. So yes, I will let you guys know how that goes. Next book I have is the second book in... Um, to the Dreaming Anastasia. I have not read Dreaming Anastasia. I did not know that there was Dreaming Anastasia. I just picked this one up because it looked good. It sounded good and everything. I didn't know. I didn't read that link right here. Okay, well I'll read you guys what's on the back anyways. Annie Michelson is trying to forget everything that happened last year, but it's hard to do when your heart aches for Ethan. E Ethan. Ethan. And there's a wild-haired woman stalking her. Ethan Kaczynski is embracing his newfound mortality, but something is drawing him back to the girl he left behind. Back to Annie and back to the magic. <coughs> a mysterious stranger is hunting Annie wherever she goes. No one sees her but Annie. When she searches for the woman's identity, Annie exposes secrets about her own life. Things will change her life forever, and when the gorgeous Ethan returns, her life gets a lot more complicated. Annie thought her journey with the Romani family had ended, but it was just the beginning. So this one looks good also. That is the two books that I got from the library. And I only got two because I'm already reading a lot and I don't want to get too overpowered. So I got those two. Uh, from my school library I got Prettiest. And I'm sure you guys have heard of this book. It is the sequel to Uglies, which I am currently reading at the moment. I am close to being finished. Oh. Okay, so I'll read you guys the back of pretties. Tally has finally become pretty. Now her looks are beyond perfect. Her clothes are awesome. Her boyfriend is totally hot. And she's completely popular. It's everything she ever wanted. But beneath all the fun, the non-stop parties, the high-tech luxury, the total freedom is a nagging sense that something is wrong. Something important than a message from Tally's ugly past drives. Reading it, Tally remembers what's wrong with pretty life and the fun stops cold. Now she has to choose between fighting to forget what she knows and fighting for her life because authorities don't intend to let anyone with this information survive. Yes. So that is pretties. Okay, so you guys, I am so excited about this book. It is a part of a series called The Iron Fae. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It's an amazing series and I love it so much. I will show you guys all the books before I show you it. First one's Iron King, Iron Daughter, Iron Queen. I love the covers. They're so pretty. And da -da -da -da, Iron Knights. I just love this so much. Because look at this. It is a paper hardback. I didn't see this 
it's so weird. It's like a cover on a paperback book, which is totally awesome. This had Ash on the front and Puck on the back. And I just love this series so much. It's my second favorite series of all time. I will read to you guys this. To Cold Fairy Ash Prince, Prince Ash, love was a weakness for mortals and fools. His own love had died a horrible death, killing any gentler feelings the Winter Prince might have had. Or so he thought. Then Nig and Chase, a half-human, half-fae slip of a girl, smashed through his barnacle barricades. God, I'm so failing tonight. Binding him to her... Bind... That was a really weird noise. Did you guys hear that? It was like a boom boom boom. Binding him to her with his oath to be her knight, and when all of the fairy nearly fell to the Iron Fae, she severed their bond to save his life. Megan is now the Iron Queen, ruler of the realm where no winter or summer fae can survive. With the unwelcome company of his arch-rival, summer court prankster Puck, and his infuriating cat Sith Grimalkin, Ash begins a journey he is bound to see through to his end, a quest to find a way to honor his vow to stand by Megan's side. To survive in the Iron Realm, Ash must have a soul and a mortal body, but the tests he must face to earn these things are impossible, and along the way, Ash learns there is something that changes everything, a truth that changes his darkest beliefs and shows him that sometimes it takes more than courage to make the ultimate sacrifice. So yes, this is the Iron Knight. I highly suggest if you have not heard of the series, going to go buy the Iron King and starting off there and reading all of them because Julia Kagawa, Julie Kagawa is an amazing author and I love her so dearly. And I totally suggest this. And if you guys are excited for reading this Iron Knight book, then just thumbs this up or leave a comment and tell you tell me how much you are so excited because I know I am to read this. Just want to dive in. So yes, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day today and a great tomorrow, Thursday. Don't forget to tune to Vampire Diaries because I know I am going to because Vampire Diaries is amazing. Alright you guys, have a great day and night and everything about yourself. Okay, bye!